What's up, guys? It's your girl, Tanya, and welcome to Couture Tarot. Guys, please like, share, and comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Anything you'd like to know about me in this channel will be down in the description below. Also, I do this for entertainment purpose only, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. i also like you to know that no weapon formed against me shall never, ever prosper. I am protected by the Most High God and my team of spiritual warriors of the highest light. My ancestors don't play about me, so please, for your safety, don't try it. On that note, I'd like to call in your warriors, my warriors, and the Most High God to this reading so I can get clear, accurate channel messages. Please and thank you. Whew. Okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? I know I haven't posted in like almost two weeks. But I had to take some time out for myself. But I'm back now, so let's get this reading going. Divine Feminine, this is our reading. Um, I got a few downloads for us. One of them was somebody's crying. They sad that they lost you. They sad that they chose somebody else over you. It's like they thought the grass was green on the other side, not knowing that was fake grass and you're the, you're the real deal. They was playing um, Robin. He was Robin Thick, Thick, Lost Without You, Can't Help Myself. I, yeah, that one. They keep playing that over and over and over. So this person is listening to a lot of sad love depressing songs, thinking about you, remembering what, what y'all shared when y'all was together. And they also pissed off with you because they can't help but to love you. No matter how they try and what they try, they just can't help how much they love you and they, that shit pisses them the fuck off. So they try to do all kinds of stuff in the background, trying to harm you in different ways, you know, unbeknownst to you. And they're just doing way too much, way too much. You would never suspect this person of doing what they're doing either. Or the gravity of how far they would take it. I'm getting the energy of Shoulda, woulda, coulda, laugh night, cry later. I'm also getting the energy of if I can't have you, no one else could have you. I'm getting psychopath, sociopath, narcissist. <sighs> They're also spying. They're trying to get as much information about you because they know what's coming in for you. They know what the Most High God and your spiritual team has for you. And it's being delivered to you very, very soon. I'm hearing pay attention to your emails, your mailbox, any kind of way, your messenger, your messages. However you receive your mails, pay attention to it. Because you're about to walk into some unexpected money is what I'm hearing. And this money, you must not tell no one of it. Protect your, protect your funds. Share, but don't overshare. And make sure that you look out for yourself is what I'm hearing. Do for yourself. This money is really use divine feminine and i'm hearing that you're gonna start many businesses with these money but you need to take some course in business management so that nobody will like pull the wool over your eye because you're not educated in that field so spirit is like you know get ready to go back to school maybe it's physical school or it could just be online school but you need to learn a course in business management. It's very urgent because 
you're going to be the first multimillionaire in your family. You were chosen for this. This is a gift from God. This is a gift from your spiritual team. Your ancestors, they like, you, 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 you surpass your ancestors. Your, where you are right now, your ancestors didn't make it that far. You did what they couldn't do, and they're proud of you. They celebrate you every day. They say, don't be afraid of nothing or no one. Know that everything that you have coming to you in the next few days for some of y'all, weeks, and I see at least maybe three months at the minimum, I mean, is what I'm seeing. Something about three months, so your life is about to change in a great way. You're also going to be moving into somewhere bigger. I also see some of y'all traveling. I'm also here and get your um, passports, your documents ready. Unexpected um, trip is in your near future. Some of y'all will be going on a vacation with you and your family. Some of y'all would is going on. I see somebody going to a retreat, a silent retreat. It's a spiritual receipt, but I see silence. So it could be a silence retreat. That is, I said I want to challenge myself one day and go to one of those. Me being quiet for how long? <laughs> oh, don't pay me nobody. I'm always up for the challenge. I'm a damn Capricorn. <laughs> we always trying to better ourselves, challenge ourselves. But yeah. You, you're about to come into some hefty, hefty money. And you got to keep your mouth shut because everybody's not going to be happy for you, even if they may appear to be happy for you. They secretly not. You don't want no negative energy in what you work so hard for or what you finally achieve. And if you feel you, you, know, you didn't achieve, you achieve a lot. God wouldn't be releasing your spiritual wealth to you. That's what I just heard. So this money coming in is a part of your spiritual wealth. You have no idea how your life is about to change from rags to riches is what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. Some of y'all is getting new cars. I see new trucks. I see a new house. I see multiple cars. So some of y'all probably getting cars for your loved ones, the ones closest to you. I see that too. So you, if you have kids of the driving age, I see you buying each of your kids a car. Wow. Everybody has everything they ever wanted and then some. I'm hearing you're going to be guided this money that you're about to receive in the next few days, next few weeks. <laughs> That's how close it is. This money is not only for you, but it's also for you to help those that you're guided to help. You got to give back. And the Most High God trusts you. That's why, again, your spiritual wealth is being re released to you. And I'm telling you, you're going to have people coming back from your past with savvy, you know, sad songs. This happened to me. That happened to me. Oh, Okay. That happened to me, and that happened to me also, but I made it through, you know, and there was no handout. Some people, you're just going to have to be that cold, and it's not cold. It's called protection. You're protecting your yourself, your heart, your being, your money, you know, because money is energy. So if you're trans, trans, giving somebody your money, know that you're giving that person you know, your energy to deal with that money because of your willingly opening yourself to give something from your heart space. So you're sharing your energy with unknown people. Not everybody that you see on the street that look homeless is actually homeless. You know, they really have a whole organization doing this shit. So you got to use your discernment is what I'm hearing. I'm here. I'm so, oh, wow. I see a lot of y'all crying. I mean, y'all checked y'all bank account and realized what what the numbers was. The numbers were so long you couldn't even 
get the correct calculation in words. That's how long the numbers is. And you just, I see you got down on your hands and knees and looked up to the ceiling and was just thanking God. For some of y'all, it's in your house when you first find out that you're getting this, it's a lost sum of money that you never knew about. Yeah, because people are stealing your money. So what the most high in your spiritual team did was allow them to take it, allow them to accumulate as much karma as they could get because you are on you are on the good side of karma, so you're going to be receiving. So now it's time to collect, and they must, and they must, and I'm going to say it again, and they must pay you back. So all that money adds up together. It's, it's a big lump sum. You're about to come in, I'm telling you. This year, this time next year, you're going to be in a whole different, not, I'm saying next year, this time, <laughs> in the next few weeks, you're going to be in a whole different tax bracket. Yeah, you you ain't going to be broke. This is generation, so you don't broke a generation curse is what I'm hearing in your bloodline. And these baby ancestors that's to come, they won't have to go through the property of money and how to operate money because you broke that curse. You're going to be the first multimillionaire in your family. You're going to have all these people from your past who did you wrong, but they plotting on how they could, you know, get something from you because they know what they did to you. You see a discernment on that, but if I was you, when God closed the door, that door is closed. Unless God say, all right, I'm opening the door in here. But otherwise, my opinion, I will keep that door closed. Real talk, because... You, you made it. What if you didn't make it? Because that's what they wanted. That's what they planned to do. They try to do the most in the background. I see some old crazy shit they did try to do to us in the background, and it didn't work. And they dumbfounded because they don't understand who you are. Let me tell you, like I always say, God is the ultimate trickster. I swear my father is the ultimate trickster. Trickster. For the simple fact, he will make you literally go years and years collecting and stealing and robbing from people just for you, just for you. That's nothing but more karma adding up. And then at a blink of an eye, he will take all that you just accumulated over the years and give it to you one time. You know, God will put his best soldiers in a predicament and let people would see them and think they... Oh, they gullible, they easy to get at, they nothing. They, oh, that's just a nobody. Oh, that's just whoever. They didn't view you as something precious, something sacred. No, nah, they view you like how they view everybody else, if not lower. Because something about you, they just didn't like. It rubbed them the wrong way, you know. That's because God is in you. <laughs> she, God is in you. But... Just like, I know you, you're you going to be excited, so I'm also hearing that this is not the time for you to go buck wild on the spending. Like, we know you want to spend when you get this money, but be mindful because you're, you know, you got watchful eyes. You got a lot of people spying on you. Those, a lot of people, even people you don't know, is spying on you. And they know that you're about to come and just use some of money and they're trying to figure out your routine, where you go, which which path you take all the time. So if I were you, I would start changing up my path. You know, don't keep going in the same path always because they're really being watched and they're really seeing how they could get a hold of you. Because this money that's coming in, again, you're going to be the first multimillionaire in your family. You're going to want of nothing. So keep your mouth shut and just spend the bare minimum. Spend like how you were spending before. Don't try to increase it to a significant amount to bring more eyes to you. You know, just be patient. A time will come. I'm seeing that too, where you're able to go buck wild and get every and anything up underneath the sun. But now it's not the time, but it is the time now for that money to be in your possession, in your physical possession. Ladies and gentlemen, you have opened up your spiritual wealth. The spiritual bank account it is open and it is yearns and it is here. And it's the figure on it. I'm not even going to waste my time trying to add 
It's a lot of numbers behind it. This is money that's owed to you. Wow. <laughs> wow. You are about to be uplifted, uprooted. I'm seeing a, a root, a plant, a tree with the roots on it. And then I'm seeing it lifting up. Somebody's lifting it up and putting it in a whole different zip code. So you're about to move. I said that earlier. I seen you're about to move into someplace bigger. It could be a dream home for some of y'all. But y'all about to move and y'all don't have no idea that this is about to happen to y'all. Yeah, this is unbeknownst to you, even though I just wrote the secret, but you know, this is a this is not no money that you know that was already coming. This is something you have not a clue about. Not a clue. You're so clueless, it's, it's, it's just, you're just clueless. And you're, you know, you're going to be crying a lot. I see, I see a lot of y'all crying, but it's tears of joy, tears of gratitude, tears of fulfillment, tears of all my life. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm saying. You, yeah, you, you're going to be in the energy of just wanting to help everything and everyone, but be mindful. You got tricks of energy out here. I could talk for that. I could vouch for that. Y'all got to be mindful out here because you're thinking you're helping someone and you're really not. And it's all right. You know, that's how you learn who you are and that's how you learn the difference. You feel me? So we're never losing. We're never failing. We're always winning. When you think you're failing at something, you're really winning at it because you know what to do and what not to do next time around, you know? So again, we're always winning. Just be mindful who you're sharing money with. Everybody doesn't deserve to be given any money to or even to be in your presence. Is that you you got a strong aura, a strong energy about you. Good and bad is very attracted to you, especially in this moment. You know, you will have people come up to you and just t start telling you their life story. That happened to me yesterday. This man was telling me he got cancer and all, the, all of this now just to, yeah, I ain't going to get into it. But he, you know, he just was telling me everything. I'm like, whoa, oh, oh okay, <laughs> you know. Like, I said hi to this lady, and he didn't even give me a second to turn around and view if anybody else is around. Oh, you can't say hi to me? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I was about to say something if I seen you, but I didn't see you. I see you now. How you doing? <laughs> and then it's, if you don't want to know how somebody's doing, do not use the phrase how you're doing. Because you will literally have some people out here will tell you. You know how back in the days, one of the lies they tell you, how you doing? You, what's, the, what's the answer? Oh, I'm fine. You know, good God ain't well, you ain't fine. You know, why are we programmed that way? That's a program we need to break. If somebody asks you how you're doing, be straight up with them and let them know how you're doing, you know? Don't lie about it because you just never know who God is going to send in your path to help you. And I'm also hearing God will be sending you accountants. So if you don't know about accountants or anything, you know, get your knowledge on about that because you're about to have a, a team, is what I'm hearing, around you, a hell of a team that's going to help you to manage this money that you're about to um, come into. So you need to stay grounded at all times and meditate so you could, you know, read the energy and everything that you want because... You know, just like myself, a lot of y'all is energy reader out there and everything. You you literally, you're literally, let me say it again, you're literally a walking lying detector. Real talk. We are <laughs> I know I am. It's just up to you if you wanna put your energy into proving that person wrong and you like, I don't gotta prove myself to nothing. Yeah, go ahead with that. Cause you realize at this level in the game you don't acquire certain you know show like need to be seen or be heard or, or always need to be correct at something you know prove that you're right you know you're right god know you're right and that's all that needs to go you keep it moving unless it's something that you know real detrimentary that you do need to speak or then 
do just that. Speak up. Like, real talk. We can't be out here keeping our mouth shut because keeping our mouth shut is helping the enemy. If they abuse you, allow the world to know that they abuse you so that they will be recognized so they can't abuse the next person. If this happened to you, allow the world to, you know, because you just never know how your story may help somebody else. You know, how to deal with certain situations, get out of certain situations, whatever it is for us. Don't be afraid to share. We're in the, um, the era of Aquarius where everything has a spotlight on it. Whatever was in the dark will always come to light in Aquarius era. We're no longer in Pisces era where everything was hidden and dark and gloomy and everything. That's why everyone running crazy now because all these secrets is coming to pass. You feel me? Every wrong they them did in the past coming from them. I'm seeing celebrities. Yes, I am. I'm seeing celebrities running, trying to scramble up all their money and putting it in secret accounts. I'm seeing that right now. All C's, I'm seeing they putting a huge sum of money in other family members' names that they trust. I'm seeing, yeah, they trying to hide some of their assets from the government. I'm seeing that too. I'm also, whoa, whoa. I'm seeing undercut, underground tunnels that nobody knows. There's a lot of houses in Hollywood that has underground tunnels. That's where a lot of these missing kids are. You know, and hold on to your kids and tell your kids to be mindful and always being able to tell who or what is around you. Don't just be walking or doing whatever and not being aware of your surroundings. Somebody don't want this information to come through, <clears throat> but it's going to come through because the Most High said it will. Anyway. Be mindful about your kids in this moment. People, I see people snatching up kids. They walking on, I see somebody walking on a path. I think they coming from school maybe. They got a book bag on. It's a little girl too. Ooh. And a car. And I see a car, a black car. Black all the way around. Dog just snatch this little girl up and then juva speed zoom just disappeared in thin air just like that damn that's like that y'all hold on to y'all babies yo tell them they can no longer walk the street and not know what's going on not know that somebody across the street is walking with a blue pants black shirt on and some white uptowns which i call uptowns air forces you know i'm just like seriously they need to be able to tell you that it's three cars down is the bus without even have to turn and look. Like, they need you need to get them in. T I'm seeing that tapped in into their own greatness. It's very important that they know who they are and what they possess within themselves. Damn. Okay, let's pull some cards, guys. This, whoa, whoa. I'm seeing somebody putting drugs, drug in a, somebody's glass. Yeah. This person is the only person that don't know what's going on. Everybody around them is a part of a setup. They could be gang stocks, so you could be going through that, or you could know somebody that's going through that. I see a telephone, somebody calling from a different country, threatening. Threaten somebody about money. I don't know who's that's for, but take what resonate, guys, and leave the rest behind. Huh. 
I'm seeing somebody in a private airplane. I see the Bermuda Triangle. Don't wait, hello. Can no airplane fly fly over there, right? Or so they say. I really think that's where the um between me and you. I really think that's where they take all these kids that's missing on the so-called missing and whatnot, who they just have there for ritual purposes. I really think it's a headquarters set up in the Bermuda Triangle. I think over in that area right there mm -hmm. is where the other world lies, in in a sense, or where the underworld lies. I don't know how to put it, but it's in my head. But, <laughs> but because... Once once a plane fly around the Bermuda Triangle, it disappears. There's no, it's off radar. It's nothing, and nobody, aka, I'm putting my my finger. Nobody claim that, you know, there's no life over there. It's nothing. How could you speak on something if you never experienced nothing? How you know that there's no life over there if you never been there? You know. All you do know for a fact that anybody, any plane that comes near it or boats or ship that come near it, they disappear over there, but you don't know for yourself what's over there. You know, again, educate me. Teach me a thing or two, because I don't understand. You know, you're making all this assumption, but none of them is facts. We're looking for facts here. We're not looking for what somebody may assume that is that, not you know, unbeknown to them. You don't know what's over there. Or well, unless you do know what's over there, but again, the public can't know. And y'all don't want us to know that, Um, you know, that's where shit is located at. And that's where some of the most horrific things happen or set into motion to happen. That's where a lot of hidden gen is. Hmm. That's where the behemoth triangle. That's what I'm picking up. Picking up plane being lost over there. I see a big ass boat with people in it. But it's not being, they literally going in that direction of it on purpose. It wasn't no big wave or nothing like that. So what's really going on out here, people? What? What? Wow. I, mm. A lot of people going down. 2024 is not is the year of truth. All right? The truth is going to come out about a lot of people, a lot of places, and a lot of scenarios. I'm telling you. If you was in the dark and doing some own godly shit... In Pisces era, well, since we in Aquarius era, and them motherfuckers smart as fuck. Don't play with no Aquarius. You know, um, you about to get served. Real talk. You think you're getting away with shit? I see people getting served when they thought they couldn't, you know. They thought it was in the clear. They don't understand why they even getting a letter saying that they need to see them in court on such and such day. Turn yourself in. That's what I'm seeing right now. Some people is getting served. Hmm. <sighs> wow, divine feminine, this energy is strong, but you have to remember to stay in high vibration tomorrow is the cliff you know what, what spirit want us to do for the cliff is to be still meditate at that time you you're about to get downloads i'm telling you i'm seeing a lot of fucking money a lot of money is about to be given to you, and you have no you have no idea of this money, none whatsoever. This is nothing that you know about that's coming to you. This is something totally by surprise, totally. And it is yours. Don't doubt it. Don't be afraid, neither. 
you know, again, spend wisely at this time. Don't just be overspending just because you can. Because you do have a lot of eyes on you and they're trying to figure out how they could get you. Somebody told me that don't look in the mirror during eclipse season because you know them damn duppies that will come out and attach themselves to you. AKA them demons will come out and attach themselves to you. I don't know how true that is, you know. So I'm just preparing myself and putting a damn cover over all my mirrors tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not parried on or nothing like that. But you know the mirrors are nothing but portals. You know that, right? <laughs> okay. And what happened with portals? Don't you come in and out of them motherfuckers? So I don't need to be looking in the mirror and somebody or some um, entities find a way to come out. It ain't going to be attached to me. I'll be damned. But I'm just saying. A, a, attempt to attach themselves to you. Because in order for these demons to survive, because they walk in the power of a lamb, they didn't transition into a higher realm or anything like that. They literally, you have some of them just walking this earth just like lost souls literally you feel me these are fallen angels and if they could find some type of way whether it's you your kids something to come in and attach themselves to that's the only way they could be come alive they need a, a a vessel to come alive in i'm not inviting nobody in me so on that note <laughs> okay again i heard this from a YouTuber, if I remember her name, I will um put it down there. If I don't, do your own research and see for yourself. You don't have to do what I'm doing or going to do or whatever. I'm just spreading the information. That's all. You know, that was a little side note. But, yeah. Let's get a call for a spirit for Divine Feminine and myself, please. We got range up front. Somebody is mad, did I say that? I see somebody mad, and they playing that Robin Thicke song, Lost Without You. They playing it right now. Yo, they mad because they couldn't get you. This is Medusa, okay? This was a pretty motherfucker, and now they not so pretty, are they? Yeah, they was getting everything and doing everything back then. That's, didn't I say earlier I seen a tattoo that says, Laugh Now, Cry Later? And that's, what, that's what's happening to them. In the beginning of them doing all this scheming and scamming. I see people scamming the government. I see people scam. I see a bank robbery, you know. Um, I see somebody pulling up to a bank with a letter. But this person got inside information on what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. I see somebody walking up to the camera and spray paint in the camera. And they got away. But let me tell you something about getting away. You don't really get away, do you? If you think about it, especially in this era, we in Aquarius era, everything that's in the dark will come to light. So how far do you really think these people is going to go? And they have a certain type of money that they give these bank robbers to. So the money that they thinking they have is already marked. So wherever they go to use this money, they're going to get in trouble because this is stolen money that the bank, that the government, the cops, they did, that they purposely put for reasons like this. Unbeknownst to them, they don't know this though. They thinking they just getting this money and they got away scot-free. Again, are they really scot-free? Like seriously, are you really? Let's think about it now. Spirit sees all. <laughs> okay. So everything is just a big ass. This damn planet is nothing but a big ass video game if you think about it. Real talk. Sometimes you got to be nice. Sometimes you got to get down with the get now. You know, it's just you got to figure out your role, your, your you know, what, you, what you're doing in this game. Because you don't want to be eaten alive. Look at my dude. Her snakes is coming from you. I'm hearing you around a lot of snakes. Or was around a lot of snakes. And them snakes, they mad. They mad. You, They know because they seen your Akasha records. You know, again, some of the Akasha records was tampered with. You know, but what they don't... 
I tell you what, Father God is really the ultimate trister. Because what happened was when we got, and we're still going through it right now, we got leveled up to a whole different level and these blessings are about to come through. What Father did was change the Akasha record. So whoever think they tapping into your Akasha record, it's not really your real Akasha record. It was planted there by spirit to throw them off your path so that you could get what's rightfully due to you. And it's coming any day now, any week now, and no more than three months is what I'm seeing for some of y'all. So don't come there, oh, it's after three months and I don't see that, and then it wasn't for you. <laughs> okay, I'm just telling y'all my messenger. Don't shoot me. But yeah. <laughs> oh man, these people kills me, yo. You can't get away with nothing. Nah. Nothing's eyes everywhere. Look at Medusa with all these snakes. Snake eyes everywhere. Everywhere. Somebody's using moon energy to try to get at you. This full moon was very significant. Oh, look, 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 look. They're trying to mess with my throat. It ain't happening. <laughs> I serve the most high God, not y'all. Out playing. This, when it was, a couple days ago, last week, when it was, Monday, Sunday, whenever it was in your time zone, it was just a full moon. Then we're doing with um, Mercury Retrograde right now. So, you know, all technologies, you know, y'all just be careful with y'all technology at this time. Everything may be going bonkers. Um, they try to do some type of whack-ass moon spell on you, and then the cliff is tomorrow. So, you know, it's a lot of energy in the, in the spiritual world right now. It's a lot of things going on right now in the background, you know, unbeknownst to you. But you, you, you really got people out here trying the most. Like, they really using the moon, right? They, not, they didn't learn from previous moon cycle that um, you can't be, you, you can't use the moon cycle against you. Your mother moon ain't gonna allow that. <laughs> your, your goddess of the moon is what I'm hearing. So if your goddess of the moon and these, they just wasting their time, energy, and resources and mo and money. That, that that's what this is. Cause I, I don't understand people mindset. I don't know why people don't know when to just throw in the towel and just accept defeat. God will make you look like you the scum of the world. You feel me? Not knowing that you really a prized jewel. God will make you the ugly duckling, not knowing that you was always destined to be the beautiful swan. Okay? And that's what they, it's basically judging a book by its cover. That's what's happening. They thought you was a piece of shit, wasn't nobody. They thought you was gullible, easy to get. All that, not knowing it was part of a bigger plan to bring y'all simple asses down because that's what happened. Shit, that's what you get. That's why you don't judge people by their outer appearance. You don't know who roll with them. You don't know who they are within them. Shit. <laughs> so you got the okie doke. Why? Because you've been doing it for years on other people, magic and shit, taking their spiritual wealth, taking everything that's theirs. I'm seeing beauty magic. Some people... It's using beauty magic on you or trying to anyway, but it's backfiring. You may get a little bump or whatever, but you 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 clear that up real quick. And all that shit just reverse right back to them and they skin looking jacked up and they getting all these sores and abuse out of nowhere. Nothing is gonna work. You God said I will prepare a table before your enemy. You feel me? And that's what he's doing. Understand. <laughs> The game. Understand that you were used to be a piece of shit to the true divine. I'm just saying. Everybody has a everybody on this planet has a role. And you played your role very good. And you're mad because you were good at what you did. You just didn't know that the outcome was more for that person you was trying to <laughs> you was trying to get at. And not for you. You thought you was doing all this because you were gaining, and in all reality, you weren't gain, you were, um, gaining shit. <laughs> but more ass whooping and more bad karma on your ass. 
Because everything you try to do to this person, all you did was waken them to who they really are, how bad of a mamma jamma they are, <laughs> okay? How they not to be F with. How you should never judge a book by its cover. Because God used everything and everyone. And again, God used you too because he's going to prepare a table before me in front of my enemies. With your help. <laughs> Let's set up the table real quick. You don't even understand. You were setting up the table and everything. Everything. You, you, everything you ever try to do. You was just setting it up for me to sit down with my pretty ass. You know, no shade or nothing, but didn't they, um, black people build the White House? And who reside in the White House before Obama? Nothing but white people. So understand the game. God used you to help to build me up, to help to build us up. You played your role. You did a great job. Why are you mad? Medusa energy. I understand why you mad. Why are you mad? Because you got tricked by the most high God. He's the ultimate trickster. You, you know, you, what do you think Papa Legua, if you know about the Rishis, you know about them. What do you think Papa Legua got them knowledge and them skills? <laughs> Yo, God is the ultimate trickster. Your real talk. Don't be mad. You did your role. You thought everything you was doing was for you, but it was really for me. It was really for the collector. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they really thought that all what they were stealing from you and taking from you will never be given back to you times a thousand, times a million. I'm just saying. They never thought that. They thought they was really getting away with everything, every disgusting thing they try to do. And if they didn't physically try to do nothing, them and their disgusting mind, they was in their head wishing you all kinds of fuck shit. But guess what happened? That shit turned around upon them bomba clot and happened to them. Everything they wish for you is not happening to them. Because they mad because nothing they did work. Why are you mad? It really did work. Don't be mad. You, you just thought they were supposed to be down and out. You're not their God. You thought doing the most, lying, stealing, deceit, and just being a big-ass Decepticon, right? That, that meant you taking them out totally. Like... These people, these chosen ones, um, I'm here to tell y'all, y'all can't take us out. Nope. Only God. So all these death threats, I see people going to the damn graveyard, digging up dirt and burying, I see they burying some type of doll, it could be a doll of you, I don't know. I see fucking black candles in the graveyard, and they praying and chanting some bullshit over it. My thing, and taking out the dirt. And putting it in there. My thing is, are you sure you're picking up the right dirt? Because you may think you're picking up the dirt of a certain deceit or not knowing. Yo, again, I ain't even going to blow that up. Not knowing God is the ultimate trickster. Go ahead. Keep doing. Go ahead. Them karma, bad karma that is, is just building up on your ass. You fucking it up for your generations that's to come that ain't here yet. That's what, you, that's what you're doing. You so fucking in your motherfucking ego that all you could see is red. The bull. You must be a tourist or something or somewhere in your chart. I'm just saying. You're really mad out here. I'm seeing some I've seen a lion. So somebody must have been a leader in a position and you knocked them down out of that position. <laughs> Unknown to you, you was just being you. You weren't trying to be like nobody else or do anything like nobody else. You just was always true to the game, true to you. You know, you know when to accept your accountability, your part, your action, what you did. You accepted, good, bad, or indifference. You weren't out here trying to blame everybody for your problem, your lack of, your not doing of, your procrastination of. You took full responsibility and you, you started to work on yourself. You started to do the work. Why is this person mad? Because everything they try to do to you, nothing happened. 
And that's where they're getting it wrong, people, because everything happened. Everything happened for you because now you know what it's really like. It's not just a myth. It's not just what's hearsay, what somebody told you or what you've seen on the TV. Now, this real life, boo, I don't know what you're talking about. This real life over here. It says it in the great Bible, God will prepare <laughs> your table in front of, you know, your enemy. Y using your enemy, like seriously. You know, I'm be taking up a call. Oh, make it cold. It's not cold enough. Okay, that's it. <laughs> God don't play about his one. What? He said don't come for us too. In that same Bible, he says, he said, touch not. My anointed. Y'all ain't listen. What he thought? What you thought he was home up? Huh? You so much of your goddamn pride, you can't let it, you can't stop. That's what, again, I said this in a previous video. That's, that's some of y'all karma. To consistently watch at the person you try to bring down and watch they glow up, they blow up. Watch they rags to riches story, they Cinderella story. You want to watch that shit. You want to spy I'm held to be like, get them a motherfucking show. They want to look all day. They ain't working on themselves. Some of them got kids and they're neglecting their kids because they too fixated on you, Divine Feminine. They can't stop thinking on how to get, bring you down like, girl, boy, ain't nothing you want to do work. What in that you're not understanding? Why is that not registering in your little top head? Why is not not registering? You out here in range, like we supposed to be mad. Oh well, you mad? What you want me to do about it? Go, go meditate. What the fuck? <laughs> go med, go meditate. Go drink some water and meditate. Shit. <sighs> because you're the truth. You listen to the in your intuition, and your intuition is the, is what. Nothing but what? Facts. Nothing but what? The truth. So, this part's so bad. Yeah, you are the truth. You know the truth. They didn't want you. This is for some of y'all. I'm hearing this right now. They didn't want you to know the truth about them. They wanted you to stay in some type of karma, karmic energy, some type of repeated energy. A cycle. Okay, they wanted to wanted you to stay in a low vibration cycle with them, with them. I said, and I'm gonna say it again. We don't graduated to a whole other existence. These motherfuckers couldn't get us if they tried to. They couldn't catch up with us in this lifetime if they even tried. Hell, next lifetime too. You're so far gone. You may look like you're physically here, and you may be next to them like that, but you're so far gone spiritually, they can't see you. You are a mere glimpse in their eyesight. It's that. Yeah. Cord, can you had to cut the cord with this person? Or I'm hearing some something you did finally cut the cord with, the, with an individual. Yeah, congratulations to you. You finally said enough is enough. And you ready for the fire, whatever is going to come, whatever it's going to bring. Whether it's a he or she going to bring a fire for something you just personally, you literally just did something. And what you, I mean, literally, I'm seeing in the last month, maybe two months ago, you did something or say something and you act on it. Yeah, you broke some curse doing that. Real talk. That's what's up. Yeah, you like, I'm ready for whatever because you are the what? The motherfucking truth. So go ahead and bring your lies on. Because at the end of the day, we in Aquarius era. The truth must be set free. What's in the dark will now be in the light. So I'm, you ready. You ready. You like enough is enough. Yeah, look at you with your kids. You like, you tuck your kids and you say, I'm out. I know what the fuck is going on and I want to know part of it. And you tuck your kids and your kids is powerful just like you. And they get insight just like you. Look. Yeah, so you, you ain't just anybody out here just doing any and any old thing with their life. You literally got a purpose. It's a purpose for you. You got kings and queens you up here raising. You could be the empress. 
You've been through some shit, I'm hearing. And you survived it all to where you are right now. Yeah, this person is seeing red and you're in red. How about that, T? Hmm. So y'all need to get a snake plant is what I'm hearing in y'all in your house. A snake plant. So I know what I just said. Didn't I say you, you surpass these motherfuckers? You surpass them. Level up came out. Girl, you are far gone. Again, your physical body may look like our neighbors. Y'all is not on to the same frequency, not even close. You like way gone. And they still down here dealing with their south node energy. You're highly protected. You and your loved ones, your kids is highly protected. You're highly protected. Y'all, I, I don't think nobody should mess with you or your kids because whoever's plotting, somebody's plotting for somebody's kid. I, um, mm, I don't think you should do that. Yeah, because you think you can't get this one, you're going to come and try to do something to their kids. Yeah, that's going to be the last thing you do to anybody. Yep, that's going to be the last thing you do. Take it how you take it. That's going to be like, you coming for somebody's kid? These innocent kids that has nothing to do with nothing just because you lost? Hmm. <laughs> That's going to be the last of you. You're going to know karma like you have never. Karma going to make such an example out of you. You're going to be, you're going to be singing shit or woulda, coulda. Don't come for nobody, kids. I'm telling you, especially these divine feminine kids. Don't come for their kids. Their kids is highly respected and highly protected, just like they, they divine parent, they mama. They is highly protected. You see, they draped in red. And this person, the mother is draped in red and purple. I'm getting royalty energy. This is a royal bloodline. You better not come for them. You going, ooh, ooh. If I were you, I'm telling you, take, <laughs> okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. These kids are highly protected. And this woman, this divine mother is highly protected. Yeah, y'all better go elsewhere and accept the laws because I'm telling you, this is ass whooping that you ain't never witnessed before. Go ahead if you want, but you've been warned. Don't do it. Do not do it. If you value anything, hell, do you value you? Don't do it. Don't do it. Real talk. Yeah, I keep seeing snake plants. Some of y'all need to get a snake plant. I see reflection. So look, like I was talking about the reflection earlier. And now look, it's a reflection here. And I was talking about power of the world. I just seen that. Wow. Look, you notice how this world is different from this world? And you see the mirror? I, mm. She's seeing the truth. Yeah, she's seen behind the behind the veil. Yeah, you can't come at this this um this divine feminine with some whack ass excuse ideas anything. This person sees beyond the veil. She sees the truth. She has the gift of eye seeing, seeing the truth. Literally, you may react. You may think you're reacting one way, but when you're reacting, this person is really seeing deep inside your soul seeing your true reaction you can't lie to this person at all they seen the real deal i mean they seen everything so then crystal clear it's not a game yeah this is a powerful woman she's coming into her power even more. That's why people are in range over here. She has leveled up. She, you, this could be a seer like myself. 
I'm psychic. I'm picking that up too. Somebody want to erupt like a volcano. I'm seeing that a, a volcano is going to erupt or already erupt. It could physically happen or it could be your anger. It's like a volcano. Something is going to happen to somebody and they're about to explode. Yeah, they're like a ticking time bomb. A bunch of truth is about to come out for somebody or some people. About some people. I'm seeing with the celebrities too. It could be for them too. Some some truth is about to come out. Somebody's about to explode with some undeniable truth that nobody never knew about or had a clue about. And it's undeniable the truth. You can't mistake it for nothing else but the truth. This this mother, this empress, this divine feminine. It's about to learn some truth about some people. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You might be mad too, but don't be mad. Don't be mad because you won. You leading, you done leveled up. You don't got time for that energy. You learn what you had to go through, what you went through, so you can learn what you need to learn, apply it, and move on. You got bigger and better things to do because all this money I'm seeing. Blood clot. Beg your dollar now. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. But that's how people going to come to you. They going to want to just want to take from you just to, because they going to feel like they can. And don't allow it. You are going to be tested with your boundary in this season. Be prepared. Your boundary is not to be messed with. You don't got time. You're learning some course with business management because you're about to open up several, and I mean several businesses, and they all will be successful. So you don't got time for these people that's in range and mad because you figured out the truth and you are the truth. <laughs> so I ain't going there, but yeah. They learn real quick not to come for you or your kids. If they didn't, they about to. They better not. I'm telling you, it's going to be the death of them. I'm seeing that. Feeling safe. Yeah. You and the energy of feeling safe. Everything is working. It's way out in alignment for you. Everything is just bam, 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 bam for you. You know what I'm saying? So you're not you're not worried. You're chilling. I'm hearing meditation in in nature. You need to meditate in nature. You got some information that's also gonna come to you. So go somewhere where you could walk barefoot in the grass so you could connect to earth. So that information could come within you and let you know what's going on. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Look at her. She feels mad safe because she finished her whole cycle. Everything she went through is preparing her for this next season of her life. It's her time. Every seed that you planted is about to be blossomed, eat, grow into some, something beautiful. Even the ones that you don't even remember that you planted. It's about to blossom. It's yearns. You, your spiritual, the spiritual bank account is open to you now. Level up. You, I'm telling you, pay attention to your email, your mailbox. Letters, invitation, something because you are about to walk into so much fucking money. Yeah. You you have no clue about this money, none whatsoever. But you're gonna be in a situation where a bunch of money will be released to you. It's yearns. And you you gonna feel safe about it. But keep your mouth shut about it. Don't share it with nobody. It's a time to be mindful about what you share with people. 
Everybody don't need to know everything. And if you're doing anything, building any kind of business, you wait till that business is finished before you go say, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Because not everybody, clearly, with this Medusa energy, is going to be happy for you. They're ready for you. They want to fight you physically. Because they can't whoop your ass spiritually. So they, they want to fight you physically. You're going to whoop their ass too. but Because they weak as fuck. And plus, they can't come for you. You can't come for me in the spirit. You damn sure can't come for me in the um, physical. Because everything happened out there first. So if you can't handle me out there, what make you think you can handle me out on, in, in the physical? Girl, bye. <laughs> Real talk. Bye. Just accept defeat. Your stubborn ass don't want to. That's on you. Go learn them karma. Then maybe you'll finally be able to sit down like this divine feminine and re reflect on this. Do you see the circle? She's reflecting on her cycle being closed. All the shit she went through brought her to where she at right now. Peace. Gratitude. Being grateful. Being in alignment with self. With God, the creator. Her team, her ancestors are so damn proud of her. This person freed her ancestors and ancestors that's not even in her bloodline because that's the type of heart this person has. You can't mess with somebody like that. Are you kidding me? This person had the power to also free other ancestors that's not only in her bloodline. Selfishly did that. You can't mess with you. So you not only have, this person don't only have her ancestors, but she have other ancestors that's for her too that's not in her bloodline. If that's not respect and power and to all that goodness out there that's going to manifest here, this person have a heart of pure gold. I ain't saying this person innocent because nobody's innocent on a 3D. But you seen that spirit? Huh? Pure. Can we say pure? Pure. Selfless. Just love. This person is just exuberate love. It's built on love. Everything about her is love. This part, when God was making her, God just made her out of everything that's love. She's able, God is able to trust her. You get new gifts and new abilities. You gonna be, boy, these are, <laughs> I ain't gonna ruin it for you, but you, just pay attention to your body and what you do, what you say, and what you watch and what you hear, because you will, you are manifesting every millisecond. So be mindful. You, it's very important, girls. It's very important. Be mindful. Make sure you, you're thinking positive, especially now. With this eclipse energy that's coming tomorrow, it's very, very, because you, they, let me tell you, they in the damn spirit world doing the most, trying to do death magic on you, you know. Um, I want you back. R ritual is what I'm seeing. Um, if I can't have you, no one can't have you. So they, because they mad with you, kind of ritual. None of that bumba clock that got work. That's going to make them look more ugly. I'm hearing somebody wants you to walk around smelling stink. So when you come around people, even you could bathe a thousand times for that day, you're still going to be smelling stink. This is what the person wants for you. And that backfired from that went right back to sender. Like, <laughs> I don't know where you coming with that shit, says your spirit team. Take that shit back where you came with. <laughs> Your spiritual team is like, son, that shit so far back up their ass. Like, where you going with that bullshit? <laughs> they desperate, dog. They desperate to bring you out, bring you down one way or another. Again, I told you, I see a, a whole grown ass woman out here with kids. Out here neglecting her kids and her responsibilities to her kids. Just to sit around and spy on you and figure out how to get you, get at you and nothing i mean absolutely nothing is working or will ever work you fucking chosen out in these streets you're a star seed out in the street you ain't even from this goddamn planet they don't understand that shit <laughs> you from a raw bloodline out here they don't understand that <laughs> they thought you was just anybody <laughs> 
Hey, thought you were just a nobody. That's what you get for judging a book by its cover, you dumbass. <laughs> Is there anything else for it? I'm over an hour already. I was just talking about my dreams and my um. Whew. <laughs> These people was wearing a mask. They wear many multiple different masks. But you see, you wear masks too. You are masks to them, unbeknownst to them. You see this eye right here with the mask? Yeah. So they, they had the vision, they had everything. No, you had you had multiple masks. Okay, sorry. So it said you had multiple masks on for these people. The way you really are is not how they seen you. You had multiple faces for these individual, unbeknownst to you, sir spirit. You didn't know that. You were spiritually disguised to these people. I, can't, I said that. I said that and it came out. <laughs> You are spiritually disguised. So when these people look at you in the physical, they see something totally different than how you would look in the mirror and see you. You are always sp spiritually protected because of who you are. So you, yeah, God delay is God protection because you was delay a lot in here and on a lot of stuff, a lot of project, but you kept the hopes up. You kept praising God. You kept... You kept living. You didn't let none of that, you know, keep you down. And for that, you're also being rewarded. These people felt naked around you because they could see through, you could see through their soul, literally. <laughs> you see the truth. You know the truth. You not only know the truth, but you see the truth within them. And they don't like that. They feel like you're stripping them butt naked when they're around you. That's why they don't like being in your presence for too long. They got to get up, get away from you because of who you are, the energy that exuberates you, the, the, the light that just shines bright out of you, even though you can't physically see it, but they... They could see a light within you when they look at you. And it's bright as hell. And not everybody could handle that. Especially if you have a whole demon inside of you. You're going to try to be in the next room or something. Just not to be in the same room for too long with you. And even when you're in the same room with them for too long. They, they in their head and their body trying to do everything to stay calm. And act like nothing ain't wrong with them. When you know they can't handle your light. They can't handle your energy, your aura, who you are, who you, you're, you're so much. They never acquired somebody like you, been around somebody like you. And it irks their nerves because they feel that they have no control. And if they are narcissists, you know they are built on controlling somebody manipulating somebody for their own bullshit. So my my girl, Divine Feminine, you was always protected from birth. From birth. No matter what you went through from birth to now, you needed to go through that. It made you who you are today and who you are destined to be tomorrow. Let's see. Who is these people? What sign is all these people that's trying, that's in range? They so mad. They feel naked around Divine Feminine. She brings out the truth and every time they're around you. And they don't like that. They feel very naked like you're just standing there. You're not doing that. And they just, they feel like they butt ass naked in front of you. And they just got to run from you. That's what I'm seeing. They got to run. Go somewhere, another room, somewhere where you're not... <laughs> yes, we're not running a bumbo wall on the Uranus. So this person, could, let's see, Uranus. One second, let's see. Clarify Uranus first. Huh? 
people. So this person could be a, a Leo or they could have Leo in the... <laughs> <sighs> or they could have Leo in their chart. They could have Leo in Lorenius. Lura or this person could be a Capricorn. Or they could have Capricorn in their chart. You don't fuck with no Capricorn, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> Dog. This shit is just... Uh. They mad, though. You could be a Capricorn and you got these people just sweating bricks right now. They like, damn, I shouldn't have messed up with Capricorn. Damn, I shouldn't have tried to kill Capricorn. Damn, I shouldn't try to sacrifice Capricorn. Damn, I shouldn't have lied to Capricorn. Damn, why I did that to Capricorn? By doing that to Capricorn, I did it to God. And, and I'm screwed now. Or it could be a Leo that's doing this or did it or however. You know, this Leo, they be thinking, you know, and I had Leo, what, like three, four times in my chart, so I could resonate with Leo energy. But Leo, yo, it's a reason why they're the king of the jungle. But this Leo likes to be seen. You know, they love to be seen. But this particular Leo I'm picking up on loves to be seen, you know, love to put on a facade like her life is better than everybody like nobody like she's god is what i'm saying it's a female it's like like she's god to these people like these people can't live or survive without her the illusion of the whole situation the shit we tell ourselves mm, mm, mm. the shit we believe that we tell ourselves when it's a straight up bold ass lie <laughs> i'm gonna close out this reading let me get a few cards from here i forgot what deck is this I think the crystal light tarot deck this is. We got an eight of wands. Something is going to be coming in fast. I love and care for myself first. It's the message. And the stone is Garnet. Oh, that, ain't that Garnet stone? Ain't that Capricorn? <laughs> My old guy, so in tune. I ain't used this deck in over a year. Capricorn. Yes, Garnet is Capricorn. And then we got Capricorn out here again. So this reading could be on a Capricorn, or you could be a Capricorn, or it could be your birth chart, or this person that's mad or enraged, they could be a Capricorn also. Capricorn South Node. You know, with Capricorn, you're doing your damn thing. You're handling business, and you're putting yourself first. You're learning to put yourself first is what I'm hearing. <laughs> we got the ace of one garnet again i think you need to look into the crystal garnet i am inspired to follow my passion that's capricorn energy they're going to go after what they need to go after for themselves they're going to be the best of it you know because they the mountain goat they the sea goat it's like they half sea, half animal. It's like land and sea, water and earth. But a Capricorn is determined, very determined. They're a go-getter. They're going to make it happen. They're hardworking. They're the boss of the zodiac sign. And they could be very petty too, but we ain't gonna go into that. <laughs> but yeah, you got an ace of one. You put by putting yourself first, you're following your passion. You're being guided to your north node. You are in your north node. You know, continuing to be in your north node. Yeah. I wonder what that crystal. Let me see. It's this tarot deck, the Crystal Power Tarot. I think it has the Garnet Stone in here. Let me see. Okay, we got the Ace of Wands.
somebody may be pregnant. Pregnant for me, if you're not or don't want no kids, again, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. But somebody, okay, that's why I'm getting this now. Okay, somebody is definitely pregnant or about to be pregnant. You know, somebody's trying to have a baby I'm picking up. They probably lost a baby and they're trying again for another baby. But I feel like, look at, oh, shit. This person that's trying to get pregnant, she's trying to get pregnant with a snake. This individual she with is a, is a snake wrapped around her. She feels trapped. So somebody in a relationship is dating a snake and they feel trapped because the snake is all around them, just tightening them. Every day it's like they're sucking the life out of this person. And they feel stuck and can't move and they feel like they can't tell anyone because they're afraid. They don't want to die. And not only are they around the snakes, they're around alligators too. What the fuck? So I'm getting a woman that's around a snake and two alligators. So that's three people that this woman is around. And the snake got her feeling trapped, but she's not trapped. She's destined to get free of this, to be free. Because she's surrounded by these, what's it, alligators, crocodiles, whatever they are. And she's the fish. So it could be a Pisces that's involved. You could be a Pisces, or that person could be a Pisces. Or it's Pisces somewhere in your birth chart. But this is happening. Somebody's pregnant or this snake got her pregnant hmm. this person is not really putting up much of a fight because the snake intimidates her divine feminine don't let no motherfucking body intimidate you you stand up and you fight for yourself because ain't nobody out there gonna fight for you the way you can fight for yourself you are a soldier out in here. You are a warrior out in here, out in the spirit world. Don't be intimidated by the next man that's trying to figure it out on this planet just like you. Lie, chill, lie. I see lies, cheat, and deceit. That's all low vibration, south node energy. They're trying to hold you by putting fear into you about them because they probably know some one or two things about the dark world and they probably show you one or two things and you got scared i'm seeing a fight between somebody and this person eyes turn red bloodshot red and that put fear in the other person and this is what this person does when this person feel that they're about to lose you they try to get a type of grip on you by intimidating you one way or another, by lying to you, by putting fear, doubt into your, into your heart just to keep you trapped. Fight that shit. Fuck that shit. Don't be afraid, yo. Real talk. Damn. You better call on God. Start praying, talking to your team every day. Multiple times for the day, cause I'm hearing these two alligators that surround her or around you, Divine Feminine. It's not there to kill you. But it wants the other, it wants the snake head. So they're gonna operate like they wanna kill you to be on the snake's good side. But given the opportunity and the chance to take the snake out, these alligators, cracker dolls, whatever you wanna call them, will do just that. But you could fight, Divine Feminine. You need to fight for you and get out of a situation that no longer serves you. Yeah, you're being set up. They're trying to set you up to take you out, but you ain't going to get out. This snake is wrapped around your neck trying to choke you out. 
you are definitely afraid. This person could have hemmed you up and had his hand. I'm seeing this right now. Somebody have their hand around somebody's throat. I'm telling you, go for the balls, yo. Squeeze the shit out of their nutsack till your, your fingernails get so deep in their balls or they dick and just squeeze it off like it could come off. I'm just saying, because uh, it's pissing me off. Like, fight back, yo. What the fuck? The Aries in me is, the Aries moon in me is coming out. Fight the fuck back. Fuck that. Don't let nobody hold you down, intimidate you. If God ain't do that to you, you don't let nobody do it to you. They ain't nobody. They don't got no real power. You the one with the power. That's why they don't want to let you go. They want to swipe for your goddamn power, your energy, who you are. They want your destiny. They want what's coming to you to be theirs. And these selfish motherfuckers want it all. They don't even want to just say, let me just tap in and get a little bit here and then keep going. No, they want all of it. Like you ain't go through what you went through. Not trying to put a dollar amount on it because what you went through can't no dollar. There's not enough money in the world. Real talk. This person is, is causing trauma for this, this divine feminine right here. This, Damn, I'm just seeing that. You got to trust and believe that you could get out of this, says, says Spirit. Divine Feminine, you could get out of whatever it is that you feel tied to, bond, bounded down to. You're not. You could get out of it. You have to have the faith, the courage to do it. Calling your team, surrender to your team, surrender your bot, your your battles to the Most High God. Real talk, they will get you out of it in a blink of an eye, quicker than you could do it yourself. So call on your team. Yeah, they don't want to let you go. They want to suck you dry. And if you try to get away, they have you literally by the throat, holding your neck, squeezing the shit out of it. And then letting it go just for you to catch your breath because they don't want to kill you yet because then they can't utilize the energy how they want to now, you know, show you how low vibration they is. You know, they don't even know that how they could extract so much. Okay, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say that because I don't give nobody no ideas. I'm going to be quiet on that one. Nope. I choose not to even go that route. <sighs> Damn, Divine Feminine. The lover came out. I trust my knowing and make my commitment. Again, some of y'all is coming into a relationship. You got a new beginning. New everything. And this is Rose, Rose Court. Rose Court. I got Rose Court right here. This is Rose Court. I got a few rows. These are rose court. The rose court deals with love, self love, self appreciation. Just a lot. Look it up. <laughs> what is it? Your solar prolex? It needs to be revisit. Maybe you need to work on your self-love, self-appreciation, who you are. Um, more. Somebody has your heart. They want you to be theirs is what I'm hearing. Then we had a Six of Cups. This is the aquamarines and it's i remember the treasure i remember and treasure my happiness yeah because 
Can't nobody else make you happy. You got to make yourself happy. You can't get in a relationship or a marriage or anything saying, oh, they makes me happy. They could make you happy, but are you, have, are, you be able, are you able to make yourself happy without them? Because anything else that somebody come with you should be a value of added on something that you already are, who you you already exuberate this energy of who you are. You value yourself, your happiness, your peace, you know. So anybody that comes your path that's on that same frequency like you has to value that, if anything, more than that, but nothing less because you're not settling. Yeah, somebody coming into a relationship, real talk. A new relationship, somebody not going to know it, though. Y'all going to meet awkwardly. Oh, it's in the other room. It's too far. It's over an hour. I'm going to go. <laughs> okay, Divine Feminine. I'm about to close up this reading, but hold on. Let's get a message with this new lover coming into your life. Uh, Y'all saw that? Damn, that had never happened before. Let's see what came out. This is messages that the, this person wants you to know. I know what I... Okay, I know that I crossed the line with you. So, this is an old energy. They felt they crossed the line with you and there's no coming back to you. And that's why they spying on you. That's the message I just got. They can't stop spying on you. You were the best thing they ever had and they didn't realize it until you was gone. You were their truth. The truth came out earlier. I showed you that. You were their truth. Everybody around them was lying and basically being yes man or yes woman. They were more loyal to their friends and family than they were to you. They kicked themselves in the ass every day for how they treated you. They know they can never come back to you. Your guards are so up. You, you have guards guarded your heart, your mind, everything about them. It's like you shut them off. Like you didn't just turn off the light. You went to the breaker box and turned off the um, breaker, the main switch. Then you went and you called FPL and told FPL. <laughs> That's Florida Lighting Power down here. You call FPL and tell FPL to turn off that light. So that's what you did with this person. You turned them off energetically, spiritually, um, physically, everything about. They, they lost a great thing. Not a good thing, but a great thing. You were the gift that kept on giving for them, and they didn't realize it until it was too late. Didn't I say earlier somebody thought the grass was green on the other side? But it, when they was over there, they didn't realize until it was too late how fake the grass was. Yeah, that's when they realized they fucked up. They chose the wrong person. They chose somebody else over you. Well, what the fuck? You can't come back here. You done made your choice. I'm just saying. I'm not in competition with nobody. So it shouldn't have been a brain killer. To, um, hello. But okay. <laughs> your choice. Better for me. And then we have, I wonder if you are happy without me. 100 trillion billion quadzillion percent you are happy without them. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is the energy I'm getting. You are very happy without them, very at peace. I said you was at peace earlier. You are. You don't have this distraction, this lie, this manipulator, this narcissist, this person that just love to pick, pick on you to get on your wrong side just to extract your energy because they're energy vampires is what I'm getting. 
So they purposely started nonsense arguments just to get you mad so they could extract your, excuse me, your energy. And this one says, I'm starting to understand our connection. What y'all had, that is. Because I don't see you connected to this person right now. This is what you have with them. Thank you, Spirit. You were the one for them. You were the one that the Most High God put in their life to help them out and help you out also. They didn't understand the assignment, though. They failed the assignment. So by failing the assignment, they failed God. They failed you. Oh, well. I'm not trying to sound insensitive or anything like that, but um, I'm going to go. <laughs> right? You're going to get one card from the mermaid deck to close out this reading. But yeah, that's how this person feel right now. They crossed you. They did the most. You know, this is all cute and all, but they ain't saying everything they did. You know, but they don't like to be around you because you make them feel naked. You make them feel vulnerable. You make them feel less than a person. You make them feel like you they can't lie to you because they used to lie. This person is a liar. This person is a fucking liar. God damn. All oh, this person knows is to lie. It could be how it could be the simplest thing. How was your day today? This person will come out with a whole book and nothing happened like that. Absolutely nothing. This person will tell you they're eating lobster and shit when they're eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Stop playing with me. I see that shit. <laughs> The fuck? This person is going broke. But they want you back in their life so you can struggle with them. You better not, Divine Feminine. You best to not. There ain't nothing to, Okay, let me cover myself. Because I ain't here to tell people what to do. But you better not. Love yourself enough to let go of that and move on and heal. What's meant for you will always be for you, but this person clearly needs healing and haven't even started the healing journey. If they did, they just started it. You're so far gone. Again, you, they can't catch up to you in this lifetime. There's no way they're catching up to you in this lifetime. Hell, next lifetime too. This, this cycle, and I showed you the cycle already, it's over. Is this it? No. The cycle is over. It's closed up. Now you're in peace. You're in solitary. God has hidden you in plain sight. You feel me? People are looking for you, but you're not even hiding. You're going about your day-to-day -day life. Again, that's because you got a spiritual mass on you that your spiritual team put on you, unbeknownst to you, for your protection. So when they see you, they're not even seeing the real you. Because there's no going back. This person did way too much. This person wanted your life. They tried to sacrifice you to they fucking, uh They tried to kill you, unalive you. They tried to poison you. Nothing worked. Because nothing was never going to work. You are there on a mission, on a mission, on an assignment from the Most High God. You can't, they can't kill you no matter how they try. You know, you might get a little bump and bruise, you know, that's your war fight. You know, we're going to get them. We're going to get a lot of them. <laughs> Divine magic. Boy, <laughs> you are a magical being. Are you kidding me? You've been here multiple times. You are manifesting every minute when you think it is happening. Don't let you put pen to paper. Oh, my God, it's happening even quicker. Don't you get some bay leaves and just write some numbers on there and shit like that and you see that shit come through. Hell, don't do nothing at all and just talk to your God, your spiritual team, and see what comes through. You really don't got to do nothing 
but relax and go to go some type take some type of course it's very important you take some type of course in money management because you are coming into hell of a lot of money and this is not no oh i'm gonna win the lottery and by the next year or two i'm broke again nah dog this is for you for now and forever Gener generation wealth is what i'm hearing you coming in a large very 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 humongous 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 sum of money you never dealt with this type of money before in your entire existence this is what spirit just said to me so be prepared take courses in business management learn how to manage money how to go in different directions and of uh, you know learning businesses like hell say you a cook but you know you have open up a restaurant or something or learn about you know the restaurant business and then you go out there and be like you know what let me get some houses and some buildings and shit like venture into things you never thought that would be you you know i always say jay-z beyonce and all these damn celebrities ain't, ain't spending their money right because fpl the florida light and power they don't got no damn competition so if i were them i would come in the i'm just saying okay that's just me on a personal note <laughs> but i'm just saying them motherfuckers right there god damn they need competition ain't no competition for them none whatsoever Shit. So we got extra magic, extra magical, extra surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. What did I just say? What was my whole reading about? Yo, you came into your spiritual abundance. Your spiritual wealth has been opened for you. You getting wealth beyond your dreams. And them ancestors giving you more wealth, more spiritual gifts. So you gonna be learning all kind of this. If you if you if you don't know, you are a superwoman, okay? A superhero or super shero. Real talk. I'm not even playing right now when I'm seeing through here all that. It's like wow. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> but with that, it's gonna come a lot of people come come try to come at you. New levels, people. New devils. New levels. New devils. You going to be all right, though, because you got a hell of a team on you. They don't play about you. They like, what? They ready to set it off. <laughs> I'm being so serious. Rory Less, know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. And that's what's happening to you. It's no need for you to worry. Don't be sitting up on a no, no full moon worrying because you a fucking moon goddess up in this bitch. Don't be doing that shit. You want to come down and pop, what you doing? You great. You're not just good. You great. Have faith. Believe. Open your eyes. Open your third eye even more. Go work. Go meditate on yourself even more. But get out. Don't. Do not be in this frequency. Under no circumstances should you be in this frequency. It's not safe. Real talk. But you got this, girl. You got this. You got this. We got on the bottom of the deck. We have wave of prosperity. I can't make this shit up. New abundance and exciting opportunities washes over you. What was this reading about? And look what came out. It's just clarifying everything I just said. Like we literally coming into, yo, a lot of us is about to be the first multimillionaire in our family. Hell, billionaires in our family. You, you, that's why they want us to focus on finances, taking courses, saving, you know, um, I'm hearing. Open up certain bonds, bonds. You're going to be open up bonds of, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Damn. Hold up. Bonds, bonds, bonds. What bonds? I know bonds. I got to know bonds. That name sounds familiar. Bonds. Saving bonds. Saving. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Saving bonds. You're gonna be opening up saving bonds for your loved ones. You're gonna be opening up. Yeah. So like, when they reach certain age, they can't touch this money until they get a certain age. When they get a certain age, they get to touch it. You're doing that. I'm seeing that. Yeah, you come down. 
You ever, okay, this is so old school. You remember DuckTales where Uncle Scrooge used to swim in a bathtub of gold coins and it's just a big, like he turned a basement, big ass basement into a big ass swimming pool of just money and safe and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for us. We're we going to have safes in our house. We're going to have our money in, in different places. We're not just going to keep everything in one place. Yeah, you, you, your, your bank account ain't going to know what the color red look like or negative $9. Why I say nine? Because then people wanted to come say that negative $9 after I know my narcissistic, no, I'm not narcissistic, but my awareness ass when it comes to making sure I don't overdraft on my goddamn account. Won't tell me I'm $9 when they looked at it. It was day error. Oh, okay. Because... The fuck you gotta dispute some of these shits. It may nine dollars maybe seem just like it was a little, but if you allow them to fuck you over with nine dollars, they could fuck you over with nine hundred thousand million dollars. I'm just saying. So you gotta call it when you call it, get it when you get it. You know? Don't just sleep on it because oh it's just nine dollars. No, that's how that shit add up. <laughs> that's why i'm here we need business management we need to learn how to spend money how to invest i'm here we're going to invest money some dream y'all had a dream and this dream was telling you not to worry about money you going not to worry about money ever again somebody had a dream about somebody coming to them not having money again why that sound familiar anyway um huh okay this what's about to happen your dream is about to come through you dreamed about somebody coming to warn you ahead of time about some money that you're about to come in it's here you are about to be warned again. Be mindful and not to share this news with anyone. I'm being told to tell y'all that if y'all don't get nothing else on this reading, remember, do not share this with anyone. Your spiritual wealth is here. The bank account has been open significantly for you and you alone. It's been protected and they can't get it. But know that you're going to be in spiritual disguise also. But again mindful how you spend your money don't go out there and start buying nothing keep acting like you broke we're never broke over here i say we balling on a budget <laughs> okay so keep acting like you're balling on a budget do not exceed no spending limit buying crazy stuff just because you can because all this money you could buy them crazy things over and over and over and over again but don't just because you can doesn't mean you should stay woke Y'all have a blessed day. I'd like to thank you, your warriors, my warriors, and the most high God for this meet reading. <laughs> Retrograde man. Y'all have a blessed day. All right.